Hey guys, welcome to our Netflix review of the Resident Evil live action series. Uh, this one with Lance uh, Reddick. Uh, and it's, I uh, guess, kind of, I, I thought it was a reimagining because we don't recognize some of the characters here. Um, they've got two timelines that runs 2037 and 2022. Um, but I looked it up and apparently this is canon like everything that's happened in the games resident evil 1 through 5 has happened in this universe this is essentially the sequel but that raises so many questions like it's i got another thing about it i have no <laughs> idea what's going on here like i will say uh so we have watched the first three episodes to try to get a sense of what the series is like to let you guys know our thoughts initially and then i guess over the weekend we will waste our time and <laughs> uh watch the five other episodes more five more uh, <laughs> episodes to give you a final review uh but as you can see just from that intro unfortunately um Despite some positive press I was seeing, like, oh, this series is pretty good, I'm going to have to disagree. Uh, this is, uh, it doesn't feel Resident Evil. It feels like they're kind of using elements uh, from the games, little little Easter eggs and lore bits that they kind of inject in there uh, to kind of make it feel like Resident Evil. But honestly, this could have been anything. It just could have been its own franchise, and I don't understand why we need to keep doing uh, the Resident Evil thing. It's because that sells, right? I, I guess it sells. Uh, not really, because if you look at the last movie, God, that that movie, what is it? Ro Welcome to Raccoon City was garbage, <laughs> trash, right? And then we've got the uh, Mila Jovanovic uh, films, which started all right, but nowhere ended near the game. Ended up with trash as well. <laughs> and it ended up with trash. And unfortunately, um, to sum up the first three episodes of Resident Evil Netflix, boring just disappointing boring uh it's basically cw teen drama mixed with post the most generic post-apocalyptic uh scenario with no no plot like just meandering the only thing that i like there's two things i like lance Reddick, look, if somebody's going to play Wesker, and yes, I know he's black and Wesker is white, right? They race swap this character for apparently no reason. But if somebody's going to play him, is this guy. He is the best part of this series. In fact, there is a moment, I think it was in episode one, right? Where he gets called into the parent-teacher conference. Yeah. That was like... That moment was so good. That puts his acting chops there. It shows the danger of the Wesker character. And I wish there was way more of that. But so far, there's been none of that since that scene. And so he's the best part. And then the second best part, I would say, is some of the creatures. Uh, they, they do. They, so far, we've seen three different monsters. Some of the CGI doesn't look quite as good. But then other times, it does look good. So... Um, I guess that, but again, it feels like they're just throwing you a bone, you know, in, in, in there. So unfortunately, Resident Evil Netflix, I think, is another miss for the franchise. And I just don't understand how they are not getting this right. I mean, the, the blueprints are there and they're like, fuck all that. We want to give you this. And what they're giving us is just Stuff numbered. you don't want. Le uh, what did you guys think of the first three, three episodes, episodes? In I'm still bored. Uh, I honestly don't care right now about the characters. These uh, Jade, is, yes, like her character arc is Main going character nowhere. Jade, yeah, it, I know it's bullshit. Like I don't care about these characters; they're not likable. And uh, every time we go to the apocalypse, it's like it's kind of below average apocalypse yes. stuff. It's like I've seen this before, done better. But then, like it ruins the flow of this whenever we get flashbacks, and that's the thing right. that I don't like. Like keep going Jumping flashback, between flashback, the two. flashback. And three episodes in, we keep going to flashbacks, mm. and it's flashbacks and stuff that I don't care about. Oh, this girl's rebellious against her dad because uh, <laughs> we moved into a new town. <laughs> oh no, they're doing yeah. some other bullshit with the uh, PETA. Yeah, this hot guy knows how to hack into. Yeah, the and they just it, it's just oh. so overplayed. She's oh. going over the top. The young Jade is yep. like, all right, she's kind of annoying. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, they we're dealing with bullies in high school. I was like, this is Resident Evil. No, I forgot what I was watching. <laughs> I forgot what I was watching at times. Right. And then we go back and forth, back and forth. It just ruins the pace for me. And honestly, I'm bored. I'm with you. What, what about you, Alex? You're, you're looking sad. No, nah, no, man. I don't <laughs> give a shit about the series <laughs> oh, at okay. all. I'm actually, the most thing I'm upset is I didn't think we were going to have to watch the, uh, the five hours. <laughs> the, 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 you know, the fourth, fifth, sixth. No, nine, we're gonna. Nine, so nine, we're, nine. we're we're gonna watch it, yeah. um, and that's the worst part about this whole thing is uh, the characters are thoroughly and totally. And our second video is gonna get no views because yeah. I don't think anybody. Well, guy, I don't know, man. This I wanted it to be good. Go ahead. Uh, all the characters are thoroughly unlikable except for Wesker, and that is not because the character's written particularly well. It's because his Lance is just the actor. I, he hasn't said indeed yet, and I want him to. Um, <laughs> but I mean, the the characters are unlikable. Nothing about this thing is you can't think about this at all. The most important person in the entire Umbrella Corporation. You, you tell me he lives, he, li- he lives amongst the other employees. And I'm sure there is an explanation why for he's that. why he lives in the, the tiny house and it's, sure and he has it's no coming. security and the umbrella corporate office has they've had a, <laughs> they have had the most important massive breach that has led to what four video five this video is games the stupidest and there's there no like security guards no security and then they take the plot of 28 this days later which I love 20 days later classic you know the whole uh, the 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 yeah. animal rights activists break into the thing and there's no security and yeah. they let a monkey and now there's rage it's virus that is the plot of this. Uh, Wesker's daughter yeah. is a uh, vegan, and she breaks into uh, Umbrella, which has no security. And then she gets to open up, to and then she has all rabbits, and she has all the pictures that she needs. But she's like, you know, that one uh, that is there's growling coming from it, and it's I, I got to get a picture of it. It, it could have been a fucking lion. Yeah, but then they self-contain that. But as a result, okay. Well, we're not gonna go uh, spoilers yet. We're gonna we're going to. This is not good. This uh, this, no, yeah. this is the the back and forth. Everything about this seems to be insanely below average. Uh, I don't. It's unrecognizable as Resident Evil. It actually does feel more like a re- a really bad retelling of Twenty Eight Days Later with like back and forth. Um, don't watch it. Don't support shit like this. Uh, there's great stories to be told within Resident Evil, and this is not one of them. And we're just three episodes in. Uh, yeah. I think we summed it up for you, really. Uh, unfortunately, now it, it, is it is it well acted? Is it well shot? Uh, it, it, the first episode, surprisingly, I've, I I made some comments. There were some good sets, uh, shots well, some competent acting. But again, it it, it relies so much on tropiness. It relies so much on a dual storytelling method that ruins the pace and plotting of both. Story. So just as you're kind of getting into one, then it'll jump to the other one. Uh, 2036 plot line is going nowhere. It is just jumping from action scene to action scene uh, as Jade runs from Umbrella. And there's no tension because you know, like, you have to have stakes in the action. We have to care about the people that are being put in danger and being yeah. shot at. And we don't care. So that is essentially that. And then the other plot line, oh, God, it, it's uh, it's CW. It, it is the before the outbreak. Oh, is she turning? Is this person turning? Or is it not person turning? Like, we know what the fuck is going to happen. Well, well, Wesker knows what's going to happen. Wesker knows. And, and he makes the stupidest And he decision. lets her go to school. And then over the daughter. and over. Hold on. I'm not trying to spoil. I'm just you saying. You said she's turning, you know. She's turning. Yeah. yeah could but... be any of the characters. Anyways, I just don't think it's working on either of the storylines. And it is using the Resident Evil name yeah. in order to. Milk. Uh, milk it get a little bit of extra views what is this doing for the resident evil franchise is what i want to know it was the goal to bring in a whole new audience why did they continue to ignore the video game fans and piss off the video game fans it doesn't make any fucking sense to me so let's go with final verdict so that we can jump into the spoilers below average television so, oh, hold on okay. so let, let um let's do how three? do we how do we rate it? Yeah, uh, let's just give the three episodes. Yeah, yeah. Let's okay. it, and then we could do individual ratings when we go into the nitty gritty. So we'll call it the premiere. So the premiere is the first three episodes rated on that. Rate the first three episodes, and then we'll go individual ratings on the episodes as we talk about the details. Ready to go? I'm gonna give this a four. Uh, below average television. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't really care about these characters. The plot line is going nowhere. Mm-hmm. I don't really know what she's doing over there. Like, she's just observing, doing studies. Right. 
For what? For what? We don't care. And now she's being I'm chased. sure, that, again, like like they said, there's an answer for all this probably in the last five episodes that yeah. some of you have already seen and screaming and, we, and typing like, it. Well, you need but, to watch the rest of it. But we don't care right, right now. Right now, I, like, I, I don't care. I don't want to see the rest of it. It's just boring. This is like more CW stuff and some sprinkled in Resident Evil. Like, at times, yeah. I do forget what the fuck I'm watching. I was like, well, what the fuck is this? This is boring. I don't mm. want to watch this. Mm. Four. Four. For the premiere. Yeah. Alex, for the premiere. Yeah, I, I think that uh, it's even worse for me than I don't give a shit about them because I actively dislike them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's that's there's a big distinction there. Like, I do not like the young girl characters. They're awful. I think that uh, <laughs> Umbrella is is comic book, uh, or not, like, like cartoon bad guy-ish. Like, it's, almost, it's almost DDOC where they're just so thoroughly incompetent that every single time there's a flashback, someone just magically gets away from them and then they, sh- they teleport to a new spot Somehow, and they just get over there, and like everyone and is fine, and it happens over, over and over and over and again. And we're only three fucking episodes in. Oh, this is is like the fact that the, 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 the there's Wesker is put on there, and then there's an umbrella logo every now and then is the only thing that they're like. This Resident Evil, it's like it doesn't feel like it. It's like no, <laughs> yeah. it is. No, we bro. paid for the license. It, it, it's there's that a way. couple of monsters in there. Um, <laughs> I, I think that there's so many jumps in logic. You can't think about anything yeah. that's going on here. And I, and I get that zombie movies have that. This just. It is so much stupid over and over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. Like, well, I guess we'll talk about it in spoilers yeah, we'll, we'll. that there is a, there's not a single adult anywhere to be seen in this entire episode or in the writing room or anything. That this is, I like Resident Evil. I fuck it. I love Resident Evil. I'm gonna lower it. This is a three because this like mm-hmm. you put the you wanted to write your own garbage young adult shitty story and you're like I'm gonna splather Resident Evil on it and then why Netflix why so three right. fuck you. And it, <laughs> no, I'm with Alex, so I am a hardcore uh, Resident Evil fan, and I just, I want that. I, I, I don't understand what people are doing with the franchise. The blueprints are there. Tanking the it. fans have told you over and over and over, and yet you continue to come up with these, 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 these side things, and you're like, no, really, this was the heart of Resident Evil the whole time, and this is the story that they really wanted to tell, or this sequel story. No! Stop it! It's stupid, and it doesn't make any fucking sense. And yes, I know there's a reason why Lance, uh, you know, uh, Wesker is black, and and why this doesn't really fit in the timeline, or it does if you explain it this way. Or no, they said that this series is it, the games are canon to this series, but the series is not canon to the games. All this shit. Is fucking unnecessary, and you know why? Because you're trying to jam it together when it doesn't really it doesn't even fit. go together. You're <laughs> yeah. making a completely, and you know what? I would have more respect for you if you just like call this. I don't know. Bio? No, that's the Japanese name. Bio? I was gonna say Biohazard. Biohazard. No, that's the Japanese Resident Evil name. Just name it. Fucking outbreak. Okay. Right, I'd That's, have more respect for you. Well, there's already no break. <laughs> You're right. It's a great movie. <laughs> I, okay, or 28 <laughs> days later, the TV series. I don't fucking care. Mm, don't you ruin that it's, too? <laughs> it's still, it's still worse. But yeah, uh, you know, it's it's just not Resident Evil. And as a fan, it pisses me off. And I'm gonna go with a three out of ten. Now, granted, uh, some people were well, not that bad. It's like, bro, just like, that's fine. If you don't give a shit about Resident Evil at all, and you've not seen half. Of the zombie movies. I have seen so many goddamn zombie movies where all this shit is done better. Then, yeah, you probably think, oh, that's fine. Look, or I like this actress, and then that's fine. But I think that this is below average zombie content, made even more insulting by the fact that they're using the Resident Evil license. And I think they might really be also fit. grading it on a curve, and they have like Netflix, yeah. and they're just watching it while doing or they don't stuff. True. They don't think about a single thing that they're watching. True. Now, I don't know. Do you guys think that this is worse than Welcome to Raccoon City? Or do you think oh that God. that's it, this is really hard because like yes. there's there's elements yeah definitively I, yes I, definitively I think it's fucking close because I respect Raccoon City for trying their best to do the lore they had but they're yeah. fucking it yeah. up right <laughs> here they're not even trying to do the lore and they're, they're fucking, fucking it up. up right so, so I, I think they get the, they get the tick for effort because right. they're like this is what we people want you're like that is what I want mm. they just didn't have the skill yeah, or the intelligence or the up. talent or the money to do any of that this they have all those things they do have the yeah and they, they the just, money they, they had just, the money they at least. squandered it on this yeah yeah 
So probably it's mm. it's worse in in its own ways. All right, so uh, that's our opinion, guys. So if you're if you're big resident, if you're wondering whether you should waste your eight hours or seven hours or whatever, I, I would skip it unless you are super bored or you have other things. Uh, you you could do something in the background or whatever. Uh, if you're a massive Resident Evil fan, it's it's just bo- it's below average, man, and it's just kind of a waste of time. Uh, but if you don't give a shit about Resident Evil and you like junk, then then maybe you'll you like this junk. You'll be like, it's all right. I I don't see anybody being like, this is a fucking amazing storytelling. It's like, bro. All right. Anyways, so we're gonna jump into the individual uh, episodes now. So episode one, this I think is the strongest of the three. Uh, it, it's you know, but. That's no, because that's not, not everything. Much. That's not saying much. We don't know exactly where it's going, but they they try to put a lot of action in it. They try to get you hooked. Uh, it's the zombie outbreak. We start with our character Jade, who um, there's the not a lot of reason like to like Jade. Sixty-seven days. Uh huh. It's twenty thirty-six, and um, there's she calls her husband, who the, her daughter's there on a satellite radio thing. And she's uh, on a mission. She's just got these bunnies, and she puts the thing on the bunny, and her whole thing is to monitor the zombies to see if they evolve a leadership structure. I guess she's looking for a Zack Snyder. Where's Zack Snyder at? Right? Well, no. She finds out that there's no higher brain function, though she is very surprised when the zombies come after her. I'm not exactly sure why that's such a big surprise is... Is she supposed to be invisible to them? She or sprayed something? herself with uh, zombie invisibility spray, right, but she so dry blood. Cut, they cut. could smell the blood when right. she she did the thing. Um, so you know, and here I put it shot well. There's some good sets in these opening sequences. Uh, they, she then she runs from all these zombies as they chase her. Boom! Flamer, def- zombie flame defense. Beep. And it just and then after it flames all the zombies and all the zombies just continue to walk into the flames. It's fun. It's cool. And then they do uh, powder and then they spray the powder. And uh, that's what that machine there uh, attracted a kaiju. We got a big, big bug caterpillar kaiju attack, uh, which, again, is cool. Uh, but then right as this bug is coming in, <laughs> we go to uh, th- uh, some months before. Flashback. It says three months before, but that can't be right because they're. Oh no, it's three months before the, the outbreak. outbreak. Yeah, uh, and then so they get the Billy Eilish song, and it's like I I have a problem. I don't have a problem. It's just I don't like any of the music in the series. Well, they the have the characters choices. named Billy. She's dressed as Billy Eilish, and she listens to Billy Eilish music. Ugh, I just don't like the. It's for the keys. Music. It's, yeah, <laughs> shit, we named it's her Billy Wesker. It's like why? For, oh. Because they're girls, teen girls, basically. Um, anyways, this uh, <clears throat> one sister is uh, acting like a bitch, and the other one rolls the with top. it. And one's like, hey, stop acting like a bitch all the time. We'll just we'll drop your bitch act. And she's just, he's just he's, she's not very likable. Now, I can understand what she's going through, I guess, because, like, her father is an absent father, this, you know, uh, Fred... Uh, Wesker is working and he barely has time for them and then her sister is getting bullied and so she has to be like the stronger one. I get it and it's fine. On paper it works. The yeah. problem is they went so over the top uh, that this feels like CW trash. Yeah. And uh, so then we uh, find it and then at the end of one of the scenes they, they move to this new place and it's all white and sparkling and everything's kind of creepy. And it's because they're in umbrella employees and they're all on an umbrella campus. But this is a new umbrella. This is a different. They're in South Africa. It's a different uh, uh, campus from what we've known in the video games. It's like, how does this relate? Well, it's all sequel. All that shit happened. But then Umbrella got better <laughs> and then redid their corporation. And they're somehow. really nice because the CEO they're lives nice. in the same neighborhood as all the other employees. And Wesker lives in the same neighborhood as I'm, all the other employees. I am. I am. OK, we are in the spoiler section. I think that they're, they're going to explain it because he's a fucking clone. And he doesn't know Why it would yet. the CEO do that? Because Wesker is white and he's black. And then that would explain how they do the race swap. That he's this is not Wesker, original Wesker, because if the games are canon, then Wesker's supposed to be dead. This is a clone of Wesker, and he doesn't yet know everything that that Wesker knows. So that's why I think that but the he's CEO lives there with, too. Yeah, yeah. What I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Wesker's. I can't, I thought Wesker was this. 
when you said CEO, I thought you the, were talking the about the lady. Yeah. The lady yeah, with the, the clip-on well. ponytail lives in the same. Why wouldn't she? She, she, you know. So initially, they they present this company as a pharmaceutical <laughs> company. Uh, they want to make a bunch of money, so she doesn't really care. They're trying to go legit, but then later on, we discover that. Umbrella evil. can't go legit. It's an evil corporation. Uh, but anyways, we do. So let's go back to episode one. So he's injecting his daughters with something. Uh, we don't. Yeah. So oh, he's taking their blood. blood. No, samples. taking their bloods. Right. Right. He needs their umbrella. blood for his. his um, and then we go to the CW stuff. One of the dollars is bullied for absolutely no reason. It is over the top. He, uh, you know, this yeah, because I thought the bully was going to be friends because she's yeah. looking for a place to sit. He's like, oh, you can't sit here. And then she sees her friend over it's there. It's just stupid. It's like, she's oh, like, she's going to sit with her. Like, no, it's, it's gonna... showing you that vegans are even lower <laughs> than Apparently, bullies. Yeah, we're we're going like, to eat oh, the vegans first. A shot being in the head. Uh, it was amazing. Vegan. I don't know. And then we get an explanation of why the sisters don't look alike because they were uh, di from different surrogate mothers from uh, Wesker. Um, and then we get a corporate ad, this this new image of Raccoon, or no, um, not Raccoon, uh, Umbrella. It's new Raccoon City, but uh, of, yeah, the Joy pharmaceutical that, that is supposed to help people. Um, but y you get the CW in between, you know, all this stuff. And it's ruining the pace. And Jade is like, stop being bullied. Just fuck them up. So she encourages her sister to go and fuck up these bullies. And I think that was mentioned somewhere that in the future, cancer is cured or something like 99 percent of cancers mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. So this they're they're trying. They're doing good pharmaceutical stuff. And but then if you have a zombie apocalypse, what does it <laughs> matter if you have cured cancer? Um, so anyways, so then she goes to the bitch. Uh, who's eating a fucking burrito, and she's she wants to. Uh, she's like, I want to apologize, and her sister's like, Shut, no, fucking punch her right in the face. So she goes there, and her sister ends up apologizing to the fucking bully, and so then the bully sticks her burrito in her face. I'm like, oh god, it's just over the top, man. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then she gets mad, and then uh, while Lance is in his office looking at Tijuana, so something happened in Tijuana. What happened in Tijuana? Uh, an employee got bit by a rat who had the active T-virus and gave it to the employee, and then the employee went nuts, and they couldn't kill him. Um, Andrew, why won't he this, die is this, what they said. Well, uh, except for they've shown that zombies are insanely the fragile. The most incompetent fucking one rat starts this shit. It's like, seriously, uh, especially knowing what happened, if all the other In video Raccoon games City, yeah. is canon, this is so stupid what happens next. Not only in Tijuana, but what happens here in, in South Africa. So... Um, we get one really good scene. I fucking love this scene. So after the bully, the thing, the daughter gets called in. Uh, the other, the the bully gets called in. She's got her father there already. So like, I'm gonna have the police prosecute you. And it's like we're all like, well, no, she didn't do anything. It was that fucking bitch that that started the fight. And then Lance comes in and he's basically like, you know, where do you work? And he's like, oh, I'm a system ads man. He's like, do you do you know how many people can do your fucking job? Like ten thousand people can do your job. The only there's only one of me. So, and, and, but the way he says it, his voice is amazing. His presence is so good. This feels like dad mode Wesker, mm -hmm. especially if like he's a clone or whatever. He's tapping into that Wesker badassness, yeah. and he should, you know, you should have brought more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, I fucking love it, and it's like, damn. And then he solves that situation. The motherfucker's like, "No, never mind. We we're all co we're cool. Everything's cool. Yeah, we're cool." And the daughter's like, "No, dad, says, shut up. We're cool. Everything's fine." And I was just hoping that this series would have a lot more of that, yeah. but it doesn't. Yeah, that's, that's the end of it. The <laughs> speech in there, top notch, amazing. That entire scene is you're a fucking crayon swallower because even Wesker goes, "Your daughter attacked my daughter yeah. twice yeah. on video, spreading around." And this is the first time we're called in here. No, fuck you. This is not I'm a. Glad. This is not a bullying thing. This is this, again, fucking CW people. Stop. Like this is awful. Yeah, so then we do, uh, we flash again to the forward. Jade has is explaining to these other survivors that that helped her, uh, and uh, because the caterpillar gets her almost in time, <coughs> but a bunch of people show up with three AK forty sevens and they shoot it. 
Just why it's scre- why the caterpillar just screams in her face and doesn't attack her doesn't really make sense. Maybe this is going to be revealed in the following five episodes that Spoiler every that's monster it, no. that almost kills her just ignores her. Maybe that will be revealed because if they don't, that's fucking stupid. Anyway, so then they kill the thing and she explains to them, I'm studying them. for. I'm, hopefully the virus is becoming weaker, but I'm concerned that the virus could be stronger. She mentions there's 300 million humans and six billion zombies and so she's basically doing some uh covid stuff where she said we need to learn to live with it we're gonna we need to yeah. learn to live with the zombies and where she lives there are no zombies yeah yeah uh <laughs> because she there's would a just b- do it there there's a bounty out on jade and as she's explaining it goes oh well uh there's somebody coming oh yeah 30 minutes 30 she's like what are you talking about uh, umbrella's coming she's like what the fuck and he's like, well, there's a bounty on your head. You're number one most wanted uh, by Umbrella. And so then the Umbrella troops show up. Um, and uh, the, I guess the Umbrella troops look kind of cool. And their guns are cool. And they shoot up the place. And they're just doing Umbrella shit. Umbrella mm-hmm. Corps, right? Um, but not without... We, oh, we had to talk about how Be- Billy is the super vegan. And she's going to unleash the virus on the world. That's when she sees a cart full of bunnies, and she's like, oh, no, poor bunnies, and they go down to level B4, because, uh, you know, B4 and the virus. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so then, you know, so she wants to get, so she asks her sister to help her, uh, you know, uh, uh, release these bunnies and shit. Um, Two teenagers. Yeah. Two, two teenagers. Two teenagers. And by the way, her family, the does not, <laughs> none of them are vegan. They eat, they eat. Like meet in front of her, and she doesn't say anything. So, like for whatever reason, they and I, I was like, Alex, did I miss something? Uh, did they put a line like every single security uh, employee is on vacation? Why would Umbrella need security? Do they have a bad track record with security I, and like things breaking nobody out? Nobody is. It's here. not like Breakout, anything happened in Tijuana. Break. No, or, or not, even Tijuana. In Tijuana. <laughs> not even not even Tijuana. Do all, all the City previous and games. Those other places. Nothing's ever happened, right? We don't need. Uh, yes, because there's no security. These two girls are able to basically do everything. Uh, she's taking pictures, and she's got to take one more goddamn picture. She can't see. Obviously, there's something in there. So she fucking opens up the cage, and a zombie dog comes out. It's like, why Why are you even storing a zombie dog? It doesn't make any sense, but okay. Uh, and then the little joy anima- the little joy hologram. Joy, joy, joy. As the dog gets him in there. The dog doesn't really look that good no, as far as the CGI doesn't. effects. It's I like, think that's why they were doing like a darker I mean, darker the rooms. dog from Resident Evil One is about on par and you think, Well man, this this is like fifteen years after that film. Could we get a better looking dog? Okay, anyways. It's like twenty years. Um, the dog anyway, so uh, but then it looks like Billy dies because the dog is able to uh, you know, bite Billy. Bites the shit and, out of her shoulder. And that's when you're like, what the fuck? Like, this red alarm blare has been going on for, like, 15 minutes. The Since sc- they opened the, security the door. Response Since they opened the door for the dog. Is off. Exactly. <laughs> and then this is, this is the kind of stuff. We hate bad, lazy writing. It would have been so fucking easy to just put something in to make it make sense, but so many people just want to be entertained that they forgive this stuff. And this is the kind of stuff that pulls me out of my suspension of disbelief. And once you pull me out and give nothing to me to put me back in, then you've just knocked me right out of the series, and now I'm noticing everything, right? So anyways, it's not Resident Evil. Why can't it just be a new property? She runs away uh, from... uh, We go back into the future. She's running away from Umbrella, who's basically shooting everybody but her because they want to use her as a target. Um, Her sister wants to see her. They drop a really important line. Your sister sister. wants to see you, so we know that Billy Billy Wesker is alive some way. And she jumps off. She's like, fuck this. I'm going to jump over the thing where there's a ton, hundreds of zombies. And so then they're like, oh. That's how it ends. She falls 60 feet. And I'm like... Motherfuckers, she better die yes, or she have a break broken your leg ankle in the or next something because there's episode. nothing to land on. Aim for so, the bushes. <laughs> so, like, what would you rate this episode? F. So, like, as if it's not Resident Evil, I can see giving it like a, you know, I can, I, I'll give it a six. You know, if it's not Resident Evil, but that's not what it is. This is Resident Evil. So, I think I gotta get like. Like half of it is cool, I guess, because they're they're doing their best in the opening episode here. I'm gonna give it a. a well, you, you'll go go ahead first. Mm, trying to see this one. 
This one's supposed to have a hook, but honestly, I still didn't care for it. Um, this was just mediocre television. If it was just, like you said, if it's just like yeah, outbreak TV series, I think it's five. Yeah. Mm, it's that's just a five. I, I liked it significantly less. I think the, the, the teen girls... The episode one you liked less? The Alex? teen girls were so annoying in the beginning of this episode. Nah, nah, they, they like are, you, yeah. They're super annoying. Jade. I thought they were like... Yeah, Jade, young Jade, 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 young Jade is insanely annoying. Okay. I do not like her at all. I think that they've re- like I get you know it's like oh she's a teen girl. It's like yeah, but you ramped it up too far to the point where now I don't like the character. Yeah, uh, the no security at a company that just had a massive security breach that's <laughs> caused one zo- almost zombie apocalypse before is absolutely ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, don't it? like it. A three. Oof. Oof. Damn man, uh, the opening episode was yeah. a three. I believe you. Uh, I think, you know, it's a five. And, you know, for Resident Evil, average, I mean, this is where they try to get you to put the most effort into. It starts all, yeah, all feel right. Like but again, I mean, this is average. It's like, fuck, man. We have to grade on a curve for Resident Evil content? That sucks. Mm-hmm. Anyways, episode two, uh, this is when this shit falls apart, man. I like, I like, I'm so bored. Uh, so, anyway, ob- you, we do get a good action sequence in the beginning. So it continues her jump. She slams into what Joe assumed because when when they previously show her, she jumps and the the car is off to the side. But then in the next episode, somehow the car is exactly and the wind where started it needs blowing and it's just yeah. And she, she falls right on it. Car. But even at that distance, even if you fall on it like that, you're breaking something. You're breaking a hip. You're breaking a bone. I don't give a fuck. But no, she's fine. And again, she's. A I know maybe people have seen the next five episodes. Oh, she's. She's fucking Mila. She's got superpowers. It was revealed. I don't care. In this situation, it's just, ah, whatever. Fine. I will. Okay, if that does happen, I will come back and I will talk about it again. But whatever. So it's just so it's just jumping back and As forth is. <laughs> in between these two timelines. Uh, Billy isn't dead, so that was a fake out. Uh, the last thing was a fake out. Tons of fake outs. Um, and then... Uh, there's a random guy that shows up in a fucking Jeep after she falls in, in the future, uh, and I don't know what he's doing there. He was the guy that uh, had that was supposed to watch. He's like, oh, while well, yeah. Umbrella shows up, he's got a gun on her. Yeah, he's and, the one who punched, she punched out. And right? then she punched out, but he made it away because... Correct. I don't, I don't so know he shows how. up to save her, and then she gets in the, uh, the, the Why car. Why did he save her? Because she said, hey... <laughs> come, come help me! After she punched after him, she punched all him. of her, all of his friends and family are dead made because of her. Yeah, it makes no sense why he would come and save uh, her. It doesn't. He should have uh, taken off. She should. He should have because that motherfucker dude dies, mm-hmm. and he dies in a horrible way. Yeah. After she says, her. "You save me, I'll save, I'll save you." you. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. Oh no, they're biting him. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I can do. Anyways, uh, we flash so back. Uh, Evelyn Marcus is revealed to run the fucking company, and I'm like, what? What is this? I run this fucking company, and she's she's apparently the daughter of James uh, uh, Marcus, and she's like revamped Umbrella into a pharmaceutical company and trying to go legit. But no, because it's revealed in episode three what a real what a real goal is. Um, again, I write here, Lance uh, Reddick is the best part of this episode yeah. and the series. And, uh, yeah, because then uh, in a dumb scene back in the high school, we get uh, th- this one hot guy is the only one that can get past Umbrella's firewall. He's just on his laptop with a bunch of stickers on it. And he's, I don't know, he's 15 and cool. Uh, I think I need so to get it past because I need, I need, I need, I need to find out what happened to Tijuana. Yeah. And uh, then we flash forward again. You see this? this <laughs> and then uh, the, we go back to the dude who's been chasing her. Again, as Alex is saying, it's she goes to a survivor area and uh, for n- no reason. And then uh, Umbrella shows up, kills everybody, and then she runs. And then she goes to the next thing, and then Umbrella shows up, and then shoot, and then she runs. And that's what happens here. This dude shows up who says, cool. His thing is cool. His is. Cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, so anyway, she finally gets a hold of the reporter back in the flash, uh, and then we flash back to 2022 or whatever, and uh, she learns about, you know, Tijuana and, and, and the previous guy, this reporter who is actually, I'm sorry, it was looking into all the violations of Umbrella, so she knows something's going on, one of the daughters now, and... Uh, 
And Billy is shown to be uh, now turning because she's got, you know, uh, been bit and her dog doesn't really like her anymore. Uh, That's just Chihuahuas. Those little chihu- ch- oh, fucking Chihuahuas, man. I hate, I hate Chihuahuas. It's just like they hate everybody else is why I hate. She's but they're, they're, I've, I've met one well-adjusted Chihuahua after, uh, out, of like, was pretending. out of like 30. <laughs> so anyways, this Chihuahua is barking at its owner. Uh, and this guy jogging shows up to try to take her dog, and she punches him out. It's just showing that Billy is more she's aggressive now, right? Yeah, she's yeah. getting violent as zombies get violent. We're like, wrap it up. So this is important because at up, this he- point in the story, Wesker knows for a fact that yeah. his daughter, that he needs to be alive because he uses her blood to stay alive himself, mm-hmm. knows his daughter has three days before she turns into a fucking zombie because yep. Wesker's been through multiple almost zombie apocalypse. Now, the other sister also knows that her sister is it has three days before she turns into a zombie because the reporter specifically tells her that. And and then... And then in the very next scene, the sister's like... He gives like, her something. Uh, Lance gives her something, and then that creates a subplot. Is it the thing that... That he gave her, or is it because yeah. she's turning into a zombie? It's like what? And then the, the the sick sister wants to go to school for a sense of normalcy. I buy that, but the other sister's like, "Yeah, she's going to school." It's like you know she's about to turn into a hyper violent zombie, and Lance knows that she's about to turn into a hyper violent zombie. So Lance agrees and to he's let like, her go no, to that's school. Totally he's... fine and safe. And okay, why? You know, Why? it's day three. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like that writing in episode one we have problem with. Again, it happens here again. It's like, why are we doing this? To drive the conflict forward, I guess. Yeah. So um, back in the future, Jade runs as, guess what? Umbrella shows up <laughs> with some drones and starts killing everybody around her. Again, again, action without meaning is boring. I, I like the idea of Umbrella drones and shooting and the way the machine guns sound and all these survivors getting killed because Umbrella don't give a fuck, but it doesn't fucking matter right now. It doesn't matter to me because we haven't built it like we should have built it. Um, then we do, we flash back to more CW teen drama with the fucking music choices, make me roll my eyes, and the episode ends with a rat. They show a rat like Tijuana got fucked up. Now here's a rat that's trying to slam through the the um, cage that it's in. Three, three out of ten. I hated it, and this is when the thing revealed the Resident Evil series is revealing that it's spinning tires. Bad. What do you think of this one? I agree with you. Three, a lot of idiotic choices, a story that it is going nowhere. I don't like it, and it's just more conveniences, mm-hmm. and it's just. A Dumb. shell of his former self. Dumb. Alex. Yeah, I'm going to give it a three. It is stupid people making stupid decisions because the writers are stupid and can't drive plot any other way. Episode three, this is the episode that really slows down and try and kind of uh, further opens up and reveals the series for what it is. Um, it opens with Jane uh, still running from the drones, more people getting killed, uh, and then she has time to save a little girl. I uh, got to do that. Save the little girl. And then the uh, Baxter is like, they're shooting rubber bullets, right? And the umbrella guy's like, oh. <laughs> and I'm like that too. I don't care. Okay. Uh, we don't know how to thank you. Uh, he saves the little girl, and the, the survivors come and say, We don't know how to thank you. What? She's responsible. <laughs> Everywhere she goes, Umbrella is killing that. hundreds of people. I know. They <laughs> know. But it's just show, showing the, the purposelessness. Anyway, so and then uh, we flash back, and Billy seems to be turning. Again, we did this in episode two. We're going to do it again multiple times in episode three. And as the series goes on, uh, the flashing back and forth, I'm noticing, I wrote a note here, is getting shorter and shorter. And it's ruining the pacing. And just as you're trying to fucking get into one, boom, you yeah. flash forward, then you flash back. It's getting annoying. Not one is given enough time to breathe. Um, the shocking, interesting stuff in the future. What is happening? What is interesting in the future? A family is smuggling contraband. Dun, dun, dun. It turns out they're not so innocent. I, I don't give a shit. Like, but the music seems to make it like it's a big fucking thing. It's not a big fucking thing. Whatever. Uh, Jade uh, is doing research on Umbrella. Uh, on uh, we, again, we flash back. Mm-hmm. She's doing research on Umbrella on a computer set to the series of stupid fucking teen drama music with Billy Ellish crap. He uh, lets Billy... Uh, With your love interest, yeah. Simon. This is where he lets Billy go to school, but despite her situation. Because I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, and then, yeah. 
So then they're back in school, and then um, you know she's yeah. Then she's getting hallucinations. Yeah. She's like freaking out in the cafeteria, <laughs> seeing red everywhere. And I was like, "What the hell is this?" This is normal. I'm gonna go to class. Seeing like a zombie dog in lunch break. And yeah, shit. I'm just so freaking funny. out. Uh, and then Jade is bossy to that boy, and and he loves it. And then uh, back to back to 2037 because that's all that offered for us. Shit that we already knew, like. You see what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, it's like, We're oh, dragging she's turning. This out. You don't say. <laughs> You're dragging it out in 2037. Uh, and then she's just running for reasons. We don't know why she keeps running. They just said, your sister's here. She's just running. And without any context to that, it's boring to watch her run from place to place. Just fucking go with them. Anyways, uh, then we get the corporate scene where she, it is revealed that the Joy has uh, the T-virus in the drug. It's a derivative of the T-virus. So that's how their main is drugging. Oh, no, no. How did these things go wrong? Uh, yeah. And then he shows. So he doesn't want to do it. The CEO wants to do it. So he shows this Billions rat. of dollars. <laughs> trillions joe because she uh her trump card well he shows this rat and says look if you overdose you turn into a zombie basically how many do you need to overdose though Twenty thousand. you have to take twenty twenty thousand pills well i was like then how did that happen to the rat and it was because it was Jan- is, uh, it billy's was blood billy's blood yeah. was injected into yeah. the rat uh t- to prove it and so if something bites you, then you just full on get it. Yeah, I mean, it, this is after the outbreak has started. You get bit, you, mm-hmm. you turn it. Yeah. But in order to start the outbreak, it's twenty thousand doses. And she's like, "Well, just put a label on the on the bottle. Do not take twenty thousand doses, or zombie outbreak will start." <laughs> <laughs> um, but she she reveals that not only can this drug help you with depression and all your bullshit. If an umbrella logo flashes on the screen, then you also, you know, are paying attention to it and you can't stop paying attention to it. So it's mind control. They can uh, manipulate the population. And instead of it being fuck Google, fuck Zuckerberg, this is a trillion dollar drug. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I mean, that's classic Umbrella, so fine, yeah. I'll allow it. It's a new version of Umbrella. Umbrella is, uh, yeah, 20,000 doses. Uh, flash forward. Umbrella is looking for Jade. <laughs> More. Um, and then she talks about a university uh, that there's a backup. It's essentially a backup disc for the world, mm-hmm. right? And all and the books and uh, art and literature, but they're so far in the future, they would, I mean, they've got sat phones and everything. Uh, so, but why are, we, why are we mentioning this right now? Is this where she's... Uh, is, where she, is that where she's trying to go? That's yeah, where she lives. that's where her family's at. Her family lives, and there's no zombies there because she would be studying them there. Giving backstory to the daughter and yeah. the husband. That who, you don't care about? We, we don't care about. Yeah. Um, this storyline is so boring. I put a note. <laughs> I didn't need to put a note. Uh, then, uh, so in the future, they're, they're on this, uh, convoy, uh, and Umbrella's hunting them. The convoy stops because liquors, liquors hunt by sound. Shut the fuck up. Seriously. Super glue your mouth shut. Stop it. <laughs> And then, then the, the guy goes, what? What? Yeah. And then she goes, liquors, they hunt by sound. It's like, Shut what the, the fuck? fuck up. What the fuck? Umbrella shows up making a bunch of noises with their fucking, uh, I don't know, alarm. <laughs> Initially, <laughs> I thought that that alarm was specifically for the Lakers to get them to go yeah. away because yes. Umbrella would know about them. But apparently Umbrella's fucking stupid as shit. And they're like, a tra- and they have no idea. So then the liquors attack them. Uh, and then while the liquors are attacking them when they get out of the cars, then they attack Jade's group by going into the window. All the quiet the people are, are getting dying. attacked and murdered, and all the people shooting and screaming are, uh, are yeah. not. Because uh, then those people... Uh, we're constantly seeing the liquor tongue like, fuck, take somebody out yeah. from uh, three feet away, right? Uh, remember that. Because then, again, we have an action oh, scene. Yes, yep. yep. We have an action <laughs> scene without tension or stakes. We don't care about it. It's a fucking shame because I like liquors and I like the way they look. And I wish that, but Jade has motherfucking plot armor, Joe. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, there's one that just shows up right in front of her, like <laughs> this close. Yeah. Nothing. And she hits it with a door. Nothing. Uh, she runs away. She's like, oh, ah. oh my God. You know, this <laughs> ah. Opens the door. She's like, all right, all right. I'm, fr- I'm fine now. I'm I was like, that guy just got attacked from a mile away. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then not only does she knock it very lightly in the head with the car door, there's a guy right next to her that she looks at and he goes, there's a tongue that fucking. So people are getting spiked easily all around her, but she is fine. Again, we don't know. Maybe there's she, she has got that spray a, stuff. a spray that's in her, or she's a 
uh, has a virus in her where they don't fuck with her. They just yell in her face and shit. Fine, I get it, but it's we still have to mention it for right now. It's depicted as all of the Umbrella people <laughs> are fucking dying, and it looks like there's no hope for anyone in that tunnel, yeah. yep. uh, which is important for later. Evelyn uh, wants to control people. Flash uh, back again, and uh, she needs uh, Wesker to stabilize it. And he did this like, God damn it, how do I get this woman to fucking you know, back off, and we need a cure? Okay, Aha. Uh-huh. Imagine how much money you would make if something did go wrong and you own the cure. So this is, he gets to her. It's an intelligent way. I like Lance. I like his depiction. And But again, he's not, not really good, Wesker. You're seeing flashes of him. It, Lance is doing the best job he can. But it, she does something clever. She lets him make the cure, like it. Uh, and then she cuts off the rat's head with scissors. So. Yep. Um, and then we're in Billy. Uh, we're back to more Billy stuff. Again, Billy's in school. She cannot focus. We've seen this already. She's turning. Um, and they constantly do this dark <coughs> music with piano chords. It doesn't make it any more exciting. And I'm just still rolling my eyes. Yes, we get it. She's turning. Please. She's turning violent. Then they show her in the mirror as a zombie, but she's not a zombie yet. And she doesn't know what's happening because she's an idiot. Uh, 2036 again. I, like, see, boo, 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 boo. They go through the tunnel, escaping the liquors and Umbrella, and they're in this underground area. Um, and then Jade notices one of them is infected. The most tropey, boring, average, generic storytelling that we've seen done a thousand times to try to give Jade some character depth, and it is not working. Jade explains to the mother, they don't love you anymore. Your son doesn't love you anymore. He's not your son anymore. Right. The father goes ahead. Uh, no, actually, a guy with a gun who's leading them says, fuck this, I'm out of here because that kid's going to turn into a zombie. Goes down the hallway, and we get a monster. Whoa. Final something. Thief life. Thank you. I, even a CGI effect I'll take over this shit. A, mo- mo- a CGI monster shows up, kills a dude, and they run from it. Um, and basically, all the series has so far... Is Lance uh, and mon- CGI Sprinkle monsters. some monsters in there. Sprinkle one or two <laughs> monsters, yeah. So uh, Lance Reddick. Uh, Spider kills the father in a most gruesome way. Uh, the father, uh, Spider sh- shows up behind him. He slams it with an axe. He thinks he gets the spider, but the spider is a spiteful spider and fucking slams him in the dick. <laughs> and not, all, not only <laughs> that... But like drives its fucking leg into his fucking dick, and then uh, most painful death. Yeah, and then rips him in half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ! This fight is fucking crazy. And then it comes after them running full speed. I'm like, Nope, I'm out. Like I, that shit would scare me, and I would not be able to pull the lever. She's pulling the lever, and she's able to pull the lever. Just in time. Just in time. Right. The wall falls and the green blood everywhere, and uh, yeah. So she knocks it on the spider's head just in time. Flash back to 2022 or whatever fucking year we're flashing back to. Billy pushes her sister because you get it? She's aggressive. Get it? He punched her, right? She pushes the boyfriend she's figure and he like back thing. Yeah. yeah. And, the, and the dude's hacker. It is revealed that the hacker dude that's hot is the CEO's son, is Evelyn's son. She's here to pick him up from school. And uh Yeah. And so then we go back he to the He updated the firewall. It's like, this oh, yeah. weird because he never <laughs> that, updated the firewall. Thank you, Joe. That's very important <laughs> You're to, welcome. to mention. But this is what the show <laughs> This is what the show said. Uh, right? <laughs> hey, see how it's so boring? There's so little to grab onto here. Uh, and then, so Billy ran off, and then Jade goes home, and Billy's already home, and her back is towards Billy, and, we, and the glass is broken that she was drinking from. So you're thinking, oh, now Billy's finally the zombie. Fake out number 57. <laughs> Billy is not yet um, turned. And she turns around and says, I think something's wrong with me. You think? Mm-hmm. Boring buildup. It's just a boring buildup to stuff the audience already knows. And if, you don't, if you're not invested in the characters and you don't care a lot about the characters like Alex and you actively dislike the characters, it's not working enough. I, you can understand how Alex would give it the ratings uh, that we're at. Then she gives a speech and ends it with what's wrong with me. Oh, fuck. A lot of things. Uh-huh. Um... And then she says, don't cry. Everything is going to be fine. And then, baby, I'm only human. <laughs> it's just fucking song choices and then, then stuff. It's like, oh, God. 
2037 again. Um, Jade says, leave him. Your son, leave him. He's not yours anymore. Your son is not yours anymore. But she's like, I can't. So then she abandons the mother and the son. I would have too. And, Fuck him. Uh, yeah. And then uh, as she walks out of the underground area, Baxter is there. How? I don't know. Is they were getting they're overwhelmed. It's the reason. No, they were getting overwhelmed. Yeah, and all of them look like they were lickers. dying. Oh, that's true. And the, the, all the troll soldiers are there, every single one of them. <laughs> no, it's so stupid. Yeah, it's like the Dothraki. It's I like, where'd they come from? <laughs> uh, Can we kill they them? were there the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Baxter, she walks out of the tongue. Wall, but then all of a sudden, Baxter gets shot. He doesn't die. He gets shot in the shoulder. And, it's, and, and you hear a bunch of French. It's the French resistance shows up. Dun, dun, dun. That's how we um, end the episode. I'm like, oh, my God, fucking kids. She shoots in. And then the French not only rescue, they, they make the Umbrella employees surrender. They were pointing guns at Jade's group, but then they also beat up Jade. It's like, I'm not with them. Shut up. They <laughs> smash her in the head with the butt of a gun, which, you know, yeah. that sometimes kills people. Yeah. So, she rating for die. this, rating for the final episode three. <sighs> I honestly wish they would have done more with the uh, creatures they had here. They had a good potential with the Lakers and the, and the spider. The spider, because yeah. I like the spider. Yeah, Lakers and the spider. They look pretty creepy, and they should have done more with that. Mm -hmm. And just these flashbacks really ruin, take you out of the momentum. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Between three and a four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll probably give it a four just because of the cool little monsters. They didn't look That's too bad. That's what I did, yeah. They didn't look too bad. But again, like I wish they would have killed Jade. <laughs> Damn, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I too want her Oops, to Oops, I think I moved the camera. No, anyways. Uh, yeah, I think that this one was slightly better than the rest, and it's only because of the, the CG monsters. But honestly, I think they dropped the ball with the liquor scene. Like, had there yeah. been, like, had they been walking through the tunnel with a single liquor that was significantly more menacing, and you really hype up the horror one, one at a time, God, cool. and then you build the tension, and it's terrifying. You don't know who's... Yeah. And it turned into, like, this ridiculous... There's CG liquors Everybody everywhere. run everywhere! Everyone's dying, and it was just, just chaos. Gets confusing. It, it didn't do anything. And the flashback. The spider <laughs> was pretty cool, and that's probably the only reason I go from a three to a four. Yep. Uh, I still hate everyone in 2022. Yeah. Uh, so I also agree four out of ten. We're not doing too well here. Okay. There's not a lot of reason, like we said, to watch these. Hopefully, you uh, heard our descriptions, and you're good to go with that. Um, and I probably wouldn't waste your three hours unless you are a massive massive Resident Evil completionist. And like the last movie. And really, really need to uh, get it done. No, because if you like <laughs> the last movie, then this is even worse for you because it's, I mean, at least they the last love movie it. was trying. <laughs> right, I don't know. Anyways, that's our opinion. Unfortunately, we did not like the Resident Evil live action Netflix. There's five episodes yet. I have absolutely zero hope that it gets better. I've heard some ridiculous things. I'm looking forward to seeing the ridiculous things and uh, making fun of them. So we'll see. We'll see what happens in the last five episodes when we'll get yeah. that done. I don't know. by Maybe Monday, Tuesday, something like that. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.